Hi, I'm Jared, lead mechanic at Evo. Today we're going to do a basic lower service on a Fox as well as a RockShox fork. Fox recommends servicing your suspension forks every 30 hours of riding. This helps maintain the lifetime and quality of your suspension fork. For servicing our Fox fork, we're going to use a large flathead screwdriver, 10 and a 15 millimeter socket, proprietary Fox tools for unseating the damper rods, 2 millimeter Allen for removing rebound knob, soft low hammer, graduated cylinder, fork fluid, and seals. First step in our Fox suspension fork service is going to be using two millimeter Allen and remove the rebound knob. Use our 10 millimeter socket to remove the foot nut. and we'll crush washer. Use our 15 millimeter to remove the damper side. Once both foot nuts have been removed, the thread on especially Fox tools and use a hammer to unseat the damper rods from the lowers. Unseated from the lowers, tools can be removed. We're ready to dump out the oil. Once we have unseated the damper rods from the lowers, we can now slide the lowers up and dump the fluid. Once you have properly drained the oil out of the lowers, slide the lowers off of the upper tube assembly and place aside so they can continue draining. Use a rag and isopropyl alcohol to clean the upper tube assembly, removing all dirt and the residual oil. Next step in the process is to remove the seals. Place a rag over the edge, take your flathead screwdriver, place it inside the seal, be careful not to scratch the inside of the lowers and leverage up to remove the seal. Once the seal has been removed, remove the foam ring as well and prepare for cleaning. Next, we're gonna clean the inside of the lowers of any residual fluid and potential dirt by using a rod and a shop rag. Place a shop rag over the rod and insert it into the lowers and scrub out any additional fluid that may be remaining. The next step we want to do is to soak our foam rings in 20 weight gold suspension fluid. Pour some Fox 20 weight gold suspension fluid into our cylinder and place the foam rings in there to soak. We want to soak our foam rings in suspension fluid to help lubricate the seals and the upper bushings throughout its life. To prep the seals and lowers for installation, use a rag and rubbing alcohol to clean the outside of the new dust wipers and the inside of the fork lowers. From there, we can take our new seal and our seal installation tool. Nice even pressure and are insert into the lowers. Once the seals are in, we can take our foam rings out of the oil 
they've been soaking in and place them inside the lowers, directly underneath the seals. Once the seal has been fully installed and is flush with the lowers, make sure that the foam rings are fully in place, not protruding. Once we have the seals and foam rings properly in place, you can use a small amount of slick honey and grease the inside of the seals. Next, we will slide the lowers onto the upper tube assembly using a rotating pattern to help keep the lips of the seals from folding in underneath the lowers. Go to ridefox.com for the proper oil level chart for your fork. Once you've figured out the proper oil levels for your fork model, pour the proper amount of oil per leg through the bottom hole in the lowers. Next, we'll be placing fresh crush washers on the end of the damper rods, thread on the bottom foot nuts on both sides, and use our socket to reach manufacturer's tour spec which can be found on the manufacturer's website. Use your two and a half millimeter Allen wrench to reattach the rebound knob and tighten to hand tight. Once you have properly achieved torque specs found on your manufacturer's website, clean the lowers and upper tube assembly with rubbing alcohol and a nice clean rag. Reinstall on your bike, go ride. So that wraps up basic fork service. Make sure to check all your settings before going out on your first ride. The tools we are going to be using for the RockShox Pike are slightly different than the Fox tools. We're gonna to be using a two and a half millimeter a 5mm Allen, soft blow hammer, graduated cylinder, and some 0W30 oil. First step in removing the lowers on a RockShox pike are to remove the rebound knob using your 2.5mm Allen wrench. Next we'll use your 5mm Allen wrench to loosen up the foot nuts by about 3 turns. Once you've loosened up the foot nuts, take your hammer and strike the foot nuts, breaking the damper rods free. Once the damper rods are broken free, remove the foot nuts and place aside. Once you remove the foot nuts, the following steps are going to be very similar to a fox, draining the oil, removing the lowers. Refer to the manufacturer's website for proper oil levels and torque specs on the foot nuts. Once you've poured the proper amount of oil into the lowers, replace the foot nuts. Use your 5mm Allen to torque to manufacturer specifications. Replace the rebound knob and snug the fixing bolt with your 2.5mm Allen wrench. If you have any questions regarding the service on either a Fox, RockShox, or any other manufacturers, visit us at evo.com or at any of our locations.